Thank you, Chair Munoz, Conservancy members, advisory members, staff, and members of the public. Mario Sandoval, Project Manager for the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority, the MRCA, which acts as the property manager for the Conservancy. We are before you to report the removal of an unpermitted fence from the Conservancy's property at Cardinal Acosta Beach, including the harassment of MRCA staff while fulfilling their assigned duties on June 3rd of this year. This map shows the regional location of Cardinal Acosta Beach as it relates to the much broader Malibu Coastal Access Program. Here's a short summary of this property's important history. In 1999, the Coastal Commission required the dedication of the eastern parcel to mitigate public coastal view impacts from three new residential developments on Carbon Beach, commonly referred to as Billionaires Beach. The dedicated parcel was accepted by the Coastal Conservancy, but for over 20 years, the public received no benefit from the required dedication. In 2003, the Coastal Conservancy acquired the Western parcel for $1.2 million on a fair market value. The neighbors then subsequently sued the Coastal Conservancy and the case was settled with the agreement that before any public access management plan or site plan for improvement is approved, that the homeowners plaintiffs will have the opportunity to review the management plan and or site plan for improvements. In 2018, the property was then transferred to the Conservancy. The two parcels are referred to as Carbon Lacosta Beach property because they span Carbon Beach to the west, Lacosta Beach to the east. Please note that the western neighbor has a stairway encroachment on the Conservancy's western property, as shown in the red circle. The property to the east also has an encroaching wall on the dedicated fee parcel as well. This public beach already has robust public amenities compared to several other publicly accessible and open beaches in the city of Malibu. It has 18 parking spaces along PCH. It has two signalized pedestrian crosswalks in close proximity. And it also has two metro bus stops on the north and south sides of PCH immediately adjacent to the property as well. This public beach is recognized by the city of Malibu's own local coastal program as a public beach. Please also note the existing lateral access ways along both Carbon and La Costa Beach. Lateral access ways entitle the public to access the dry sandy beach in addition to the rights the public enjoys from the public trust doctrine to traverse the wet sand on all Malibu beaches. You can see the pre-existing fence better here. When the Carbon Lacosta property was publicly acquired, there was an existing fence. You can see that the dedicated parcel had one type of fence. The purchase parcel had another fence type. This image was taken from uh, Google Street View on December of 2020. In the red circle, you can see one of the MRC's fence repairs made during the pandemic. As every coastal manager knows, beach visitorship during the pandemic is exceptionally high. With a lot of public pressure to get to the beach, like, carbon cost, like the carbon cost property. We would also like to draw your attention to the no parking signs that the city of Malibu placed here without a coastal development permit. After the California Coast Commission opened a violation, the city finally removed these signs in February of 2021. With the pre-existing old fence, public access was limited to visual access only, although our observations show that the residents use this publicly owned beach. During the pandemic, the MRC received three complaints from Doug Rogers, the Eastern property neighbor. The MRC responded the same day or as soon as any complaint was received, yet Mr. Rogers and his neighbors continue to use self-help to repair the fence and complain that the MRC should replace the old fencing because it was an eyesore to their properties. The MRC reminded Mr. Rogers that this site is proposed for public access improvements in the anticipated Malibu Access Public Works Plan, including a fence replacement. But the neighbors did not wait for the permitted public access improvements and engaged a contractor to remove the old fence and build a new fence without a permit and without the Conservancy's permission as the property owner. The MRC removed the majority of the unpermitted new fence on May 7th and 8th this year. Here you can see the MRSA staff diligently removing the unpermitted fence that spanned both public beach parcels. 
That is, the new fence was added inside the eastern dedicated parcel's existing fence to essentially double the fencing there. MRCA staff took additional precautions to dismantle the fence without damage to any of the remove any of the fencing materials and store the removed fencing at King Gillette Ranch. Neighbors were then advised that they can retrieve the removed fencing materials at King Gillette Ranch. On May 8th, the MRCA posted this video on social media. On Instagram, it received over 3,978 views to date and 61 comments. All but one thanking the MRCA for its public stewardship. Sorry, my comments aren't coming up. We also want to address some of the correspondence you recently received from neighbors. This property site is not any more dangerous than any other property site along the first 21 mile stretch of PCH. This exhibit taken from the city of Malibu's PCH parking study shows that there were zero parking related collisions from 2011 to 2015 along this site. This remains consistent with the earlier CEQA analysis done by the California Coastal Commission staff. In 2002, the Court of Appeal and La Costa Beach Homeowners Association versus the California Coastal Commission upheld the commission staff's similar conclusion that the use of this site for public access presents no greater hazard to traffic and pedestrians than the use of any other public beach access way in the city of Malibu. In fact, the sheriff's call logs from 2020 to 2021 show no traffic accidents, no injuries, and all calls were complaints about people allegedly trespassing on the public beach. On June 3rd, our dedicated field staff was diligent in removing the remaining legal development in order to make the site safe. However, a crowd of residents descended on our staff demanding them to stop all work and saying that the sheriffs were already in room. When the sheriffs arrived, they advised that the residents call city code enforcement. Late in May, the Malibu Times reported that Malibu Mayor Versanti encouraged homeowners to call the sheriff's department to report any trespassers or suspicious activity on the speech property. And one resident emailed the MRCA stating that he called the sheriff's department on MRCA maintenance staff last Thursday following Mayor Versanti's direction. The report from the sheriffs recognized that our staff were simply doing their jobs as the city code enforcement, yet the neighbors continued harassment forced our staff to take their lunch break away from the work site. Here's a statement from Supervising Ranger Joel Johnson. As part of the MRCA's operations team, Mr. Del Campo wishes to express to you his dedication to protecting public property. Mi nombre es Daniel del Campo de la División Operation de MRCA. Trabajamos duro para proteger propiedades públicos. Estoy orgulloso de estar al servicio para las comunidades de California. My name is Daniel del Campo. I work for the MRCA of the Operation Protection. We work as stewards to protect public land. I am very proud to be of service to all Californians. From all of us, thank you. We are happy to answer any questions that you may have.